All right, so I wanted to make a quick video because um, I think that other people might have the same issue that I, that I had, or the same concern rather, when they're putting a three-stage manifold in, say, um, 328i with the M2 engine or a 325i with the metal valve cover and the plastic valve cover. First off, 328i, plastic valve cover, has oil separator in here, as well as a PCB integrated into the cover. 325i with the metal valve cover, it's not going to have any of that inside the valve cover. Everything is going to be outside. 325i, okay. That is going to have PCB and oil separator attached to the manifold. So there is a hose that goes from that end of the manifold all the way to this oil separator and then into the manifold. In the 328i, all that is in here. So the hose just goes straight from here into the manifold. Now, here comes the difference. Early 2005 cars and 2006, about mid 2006, they will have a manifold with a single port here, opposed to the um, to the two port manifold that I have over there. You have a 325i, and you get a single port intake manifold, and you get a three stage manifold. Ideally, you want the manifold with the single ports because it will be plug and play. You don't have to deal with with the holes and all that crap. But if you do have a 325i and you get a dual port manifold with two ports, then what you will do is you're gonna get the PCB heater, and let me show you, a PCB heater or something else, and you will just go and block off one of the ports in the dual port. And then you block it off on the, on the manifold, and then you use the other one. That's if you have an early model 325i with a metal buff core, and the hose that is only meant to go on a single port. Now let's say you have a 325 or say a 525 whatever with a metal valve cover but you have a dual port manifold stuck from the factory. So you're gonna have outside the same oil separator the same as this one right here and you're gonna have this same setup. So it will be plug and play. Let's say you have that 325i. So if it's a dual port that the stock your car came with, then it's easy. You just get a dual port manifold. And this one came as a matter of fact from a 2007 530, which has the metal valve core, which is why it came with the outside oil separator. So you have your 225, a stock dual port, plug and play to this one to the manifold with a dual port. Now let's say you have that 325 that came with um, a dual port manifold but the three states that you get only has one port what you will do is you will get this hose and you're gonna connect it connect one of the hose, one of them in preferably I think the one with the PCB here or well this one depends on what you choose I don't have any experience with that and the other part of the hose you will have to block it off so then you would use just one part of the hose and for the one port that you have in your manifold. Alright, so that covers the metal valve core course. Let's say you have a 328i. Alright, 328i, as I said, has the hose that goes straight from here to the two ports. 328i, you got a manifold, let's say you got it from a 330i, 2006 330i, but it's an early model year. So your 328i has a hose. That's meant to go here straight, and it's gonna and it's gonna just go into the two ports of the manifold. But you got it from a 330, so it has a single port, and it has an outside oil separator. What you're gonna do? You go, plug one of the ports in. You're gonna be closing up the other port, similar to the same thing as a 325i, without the external oil separator. Except with a 325, you will use the oil separator. If you have a 320 i and you do like I did, I have a 328i 2008, and you get a dual port manifold, it is literally plug and play. Just unplug everything, and then you take out the oil separator, and you use your, your hose, and just plugs right in to the intake manifold. Pretty straightforward. Let me show you some pictures of what these different setups will look like on the manifolds. First setup right here, this is 328i, hose and everything, going into a three-stage manifold. So you can see that's the same hole stuck from the 328i just plugs right in into the two ports. Let's go to the next one. This is 
for a 325i dual port goes out go, holds goes from off core or your separator PCB goes into the two ports now 325i or 330 whatever single port early model your car goes into the, into the hose then it just goes straight into a single port if you have a um, if you're going from a from a car that has a dual port hose well I guess you'll be blocking off one of these see what I'm talking about now if your car has a dual port hose and you only have one port in the manifold you're gonna be blocking off one of the ports in the hose your car has a single port hose and you're going into a dual port manifold well you're blocking off one of the ports in the manifold pretty straightforward it's better to know how to do that it's better to use get a manifold that fits your car but you know sometimes especially if you have an early model your car with a, with a single port hose you don't have as much choice because there aren't as many of those cars and also a lot of those cars are higher mileage and older now so the diesel valves are going to be beat up and now let me touch on a bit on the diesel valves these are two diesel valves that came with my manifold now. Keep in mind, this manifold came from a junker card. $25 is what I paid for this manifold. It's this whole manifold with the oil separator, the two diesel valves, this map sensor right there, and a total valve. Of course, it looks good because I cleaned it up, but it's still $25 for the whole thing. First things first, you go, you shake it, you shake the diesel valves. If they're good, if they're solid, if the seals are not ripped up, what the hell? Take your chance on it. First thing you do, pull up to the core, get the manifold, take all of this off. On the other side, this above is right here, the, the big one. You take it out, shake for plate. If it doesn't have plate, you get that this you get that this above. You get that manifold. You paying twenty five dollars. There's people out there paying two, three hundred dollars to get a specific manifold off of eBay or whatever. It's not worth it. This swap can be done a lot cheaper than people think. Is 25 horsepower difference from a 328, 50 almost no, almost 40 horsepower difference from a 325. What the hell? Now, um, around 2007, there was a revision for these two diesel valves. For newer ones, that are longer lasting. They last a lot longer. I don't know if this car had it because it's a junker car. I don't know, but these look in good shape, so I wouldn't be surprised if they are they wear out less they last a lot longer the seals hold up better so you definitely want those the price of the diesel valve itself can offset the price of the manifold that's why if you're pulling it from a junker card it's worth it to check it before you even buy it now talking about which manifold is the best one to buy this manifold right here is the best one to buy and i'll show you what cars it comes from this manifold right here as you can see this manifold has a heat sink on top of it this manifold itself is it comes in the in the newer F10 5 series and the X3. Let me show you exactly which years. 2009 to 2013 5 series, 2009 to 2012 X3 with the M52 engine. These cars in the middle, those are 7 series and 5 series cars that we don't get in the United States. So don't even look at those. Now the reason why this manifold is so much better is because it has a heat sink on the top. This heat sink will keep the uh, the intake cooler, so more power, better response, less heat soaking, overall better. And also it's newer. The newer the manifold, the less use those diesel valves are going to have, and the longer it's going to last, the safer you're going to be. But as long as you get 07 and over, then you get the newer diesel valves. Even then, it all depends, because you can get a newer car that has trash diesel valves, and you get an older car that has good ones. So first thing you do is check those valves. If they're good, you buy it. If they're not, make sure you're getting it for dirt cheap. I hope this clears up a bit of confusion that some people might have because I know I definitely had it. I found some information from some good people in the forums. I contribute a lot. I've seen them and I post them out. I will post a thread on the bottom. This goes over with pictures and everything over a few of the different versions and what you might need to do and might need to know. I will be installing this manifold on my car and recording every step by step, so stay tuned for that.